AUD USD. Now, the last week I gave analysis uh, or the signal that the AUD USD should actually continue its bullish momentum and creating another candle just to hit this previous resistance right here. And that didn't really happen because the market had continued reversing and uh, continued its bearish momentum immediately without making one more attempt to this resistance level right here. So now what is the next move? Now to know the next move we need to go of course to the bigger time frames. Let's go now to the weekly candles. Now looking at this pattern on the weekly candle, does it remind you about anything at all? Hmm. It's actually the same scenario we had on the Euro USD. The very same scenario. We analyzed the, the Euro USD after this bullish breakout candle. We can see another small candle appeared with long uh, wick at the top and a small wick uh, or a small tail at the bottom reversing because we had this support level and the market is going to continue its bearish, um, uh, bullish momentum after reversing from this support level. The very same or the very similar thing happened now with the AUD USD. We can see that here like that we're having this previous resistance level which has been broken out by this strong bullish breakout candle and right now the market went down retesting the same level of this support right here now the next move uh, from my expectation on the AUD USD is it's gonna continue its bullish momentum all the way but not as far as the Euro USD it's gonna reverse right on this resistance level right here then after that, we can expect for the candles to actually continue falling more down. Again, this is weekly candles we are, uh, we are on right now. That is not daily, guys. So, uh, saying that, go back to the daily candles. Now, on daily candles, we can see that the market now is facing a strong support level here and actually facing a stronger resistance level right here. That's why I'm thinking that the AUDUSD should actually start reversing and going up all the way until it hit this previous resistance right here. So we can expect approximately 145 pips from this trade. However, we always need to rely on the price action. By the way, uh, I should have mentioned that in the Euro USD video. Uh, the next video this week will be talking about price action instead of live trading. I think this is way more important. We need to talk more about the price actions, how we can read the price action uh, while they are actually happening. So anyway, uh, let me just pause this video for a few seconds and I'll be back to you. Yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, let's go back to the analysis right now and we can see, uh, as I mentioned, the AUD USD should be bouncing right now, retesting this previous resistance. Then it's going to be good for the sell. Now the question is, where should we start selling the AUD USD? Uh, let's now see. Now we have here the support level. Now, actually, if I want to be really more accurate here, uh, I don't believe the reversal is going to happen immediately right away. I think the AUD USD might be going a little bit more down, just a little bit, making one final retest, touching this previous resistance, and then it's going to make that bounce. Uh, now, again, this is daily candles. Let's go to the four hour chart. Now on the 4 hour chart we can see that we had, we had here a small reversal happened meaning this resistance level has already been retested. Now that is actually good news because it means we can uh, expect the reversal and the bearish reversal I mean to start right away for the AUD USD. However we still need to do some more analysis. Uh, let's go now to the daily candles back. Sorry let's go back to the daily candles. Now let me just draw the trend lines right here. So I can find really the best level to start selling the AUD USD. So we can see that here we had this support trend line has been breaking out to become a resistance trend line. Right now we can see the, ma the market after going below this uh, resistance trend line is gonna, in my opinion, keep its position as a resistance trend line. So we can expect the market to go up like that and then to reverse down. Uh, now, since we confirmed that most likely what will going to happen is the market is going to fall down, uh, let's see what will going to happen next. Let's go to the 4-hour chart. Now, as I mentioned, the market is going down. However, not immediately. Not immediately. 
is going to make one bullish reversal and then from that level is gonna continue falling more down let's go now to the four hour chart again and let's draw a Fibonacci level like that now it's actually yeah look at that it's almost wow that's nice it's almost at the very uh, 38.2 uh, it's almost at the very same level I mentioned that we can start shorting the AUD USD so uh, let me just make it more clear AUD USD should be good to start sell right on this level uh, of the Fibonacci 38.2 uh, let me just write you write for you the levels <clears throat> wait 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 I'm rushing here before that before that let's see first if we had a strong resistance in the past on the very same level just to be sure that we are uh, giving the right signal we can see that it was indeed a very strong as a support and right here it was very strong level as a resistance and even here it was really strong as a support indeed this level uh, was playing uh, as was acting as a key support and the key resistance levels therefore we can expect on Monday opening let me tell you the scenario expected on Monday opening uh, since we had here this bearish uh, candle appeared let me just zoom in more so since we had this bearish candle appeared we can expect the market to fall down here because here we have a support number one uh, the market might actually fall down to the, to, the, to the same level of Fibonacci 50 to create a support number two and then it's gonna bounce up again and here we have a resistance one and the market is going to create a resistance number two after that level it might be a good idea to start shorting the AUD USD and uh, I believe it's gonna fall down uh, let's see if we open the sell order right away we can expect to lose about 12 pips only the market might go against for you against you for 12 pips I don't think it's wait a minute no I cannot say I don't think uh, because yeah there is a possibility that the market will actually continue bearish momentum just a little bit hitting this previous support and then gonna fall down so I just want to make my analysis very accurate as much as possible so let me just give you the scenarios expected if you place your sell order on the level 0.69584 you can expect the market to go a little bit against you uh, until this level here so we are talking about 20 pips uh, against your direction I believe after that the market most likely will continue falling more down uh, the only direction I can see for the market is to fall down so uh, just want to make it clear AUD USD all in all is falling down we can expect the reversal to happen right here expect it also to continue its bearish, uh, bullish momentum until hitting this previous uh, support level and then it's gonna fall down uh, until it hit this previous support level right here so uh, just to make it clear uh, AUD USD is good for sell on the level 0 0.69584 and again I want to say expect it to go for almost 20 pips against you that is I mean that is as much as I can say I, I mean I cannot say more than that uh, because the AUD USD uh, all in all is falling down and I gave you the correct level for sell and also the backup plan where you can expect uh, for the market to reverse and if anything happened if the market was gonna change and move differently I'm going to make uh, one video immediately about it before the midweek analysis so anyway that was my expectation for the AUDSD and uh, wish you guys a good week and thank you for watching